Please, without wasting your time, dear friends, home and abroad, I want to inform you that Biafran Liberation Forces have been recognized by international community and international forces. As they have met with the conditions required for them to meet before and now, they have uh, met with those conditions, especially uh, for the Prime Minister to meet with the international community standard for Biafra referendum. And uh, this have given Biafrans upper hand over uh, Nigeria uh, military terrorists. So that when you are talking about uh, Biafran security forces today, so it cannot be overemphasized and it will never be undirected. Because why? This issue I'm telling you this moment uh, may look surprising to you. You may not believe it because most of you are always being skeptic about the truth. But what I'm telling you is that truth is one. As Biafra is being recognized, so also uh, today, Biafra Liberation Armies, put it that way, are being recognized by international um security forces because they are well equipped and pro pro properly uh, trained all right with the human uh, senses with the human feelings everything that have to do with the humanity is in them all right they comport themselves well and uh, if this have happened so what are we waiting for to get our nation freed from the evil contraction? So as you are listening to me, it is high time for us to go relentlessly, for us to go higher than ever before, because the population of Biafra Liberation Forces have maximized and more are coming. And it's going to surprise Nigerians and the world. The magnitude of Biafran security forces or Biafran military forces. Their numbers will never be counted because we are going to do something special to make sure that Biafra land and Africa as a whole is free from evil activities of the bandits in Nigeria. So I'm telling you this moment. Don't think that Biafra land is empty. So I'm talking with you now. And don't think that there is no proper connection from Biafra government to other countries on it. We are not running a one man show government. This is not bureaucracy. It's not autocracy. We are running a good government. Government to save souls. Government to save lives and properties. Government that will care for his people. And I tell you that our soldiers are well organized, full of respect and humility. But you cannot humiliate them because of their humility. They are well understood. They are not violent. And anything violence, they are not inside it. They don't have a hand in it. But when a, a warrant for their presence to appear for a particular assignment, you will see them. So what I'm telling you today is that Nigerian military terrorists are in panic as the Biafra Special Forces are being confirmed today to an international standard. They don't know what is going to befall them as they are sitting on the keg of gunpowder 
it might explode any moment. So let them not think that the journey we started is for children. Tough meter for those who are of age. We are going and we are going with everything that is needed for Biafra land to be peaceful. I will not tell you more than this because a word is enough for the wise. So remember, one person cannot fight this battle. This battle is not for one person. It's for all of us. You must have a role to play as I'm playing my own role. Prime Minister of the Afro Republic in exile is playing his own role. Mazenam de Kano is true with the Nigerians. You may not understand that language that is true with the Nigeria government. He has defeated the Nigeria government single handedly. What you see is that they are illegally holding him hostage. Tinibu is afraid of Mazenam de Kano. All the Nigerian senators are afraid of Mazen Amdekan. All the Nigerian soldiers are afraid of Mazen Amdekan. All the Nigerian police are afraid of Mazen Amdekan. So, but I want to tell you that greater than Mazen Amdekan or the same like Mazen Amdekan is there. When what we're warranting to come out happen, you will see him. And nobody will stop him because that will be the end of the whole issue. We are marching forward and the victory of their friends are glittering. They have won this battle. Don't be deceived by anybody asking you what can you do if you say you have won the battle go and bring Mazen Amdekano out okay Mazen Amdekano is already out nothing will happen to him we don't pray so and we don't hope so I believe that Tinibu is very clever to understand that if anything goes wrong with Mazen Amdekano Yorubas are going to face their friends in the battle of supremacy. Or the whole Nigeria can face their friends for the second time. So, we are not begging them. We are not begging any of them. Because you cannot beg for what belongs to you. You are not supposed to beg for your right. Your right must be legally given to you. Understand? So don't make a mistake to say you are going to beg them either to give you Biafra or to release Mazen and Dekan. You are creating more problems for yourself and for Biafra Nation. There is nothing they know that we don't know it better. And there's nothing Nigeria have that Biafra government doesn't have it more than enough. So whatever they are claiming, we are waiting for them to come out with their claims. They claim they have a war plane, isn't it? They have more motor cars, isn't it? A country that have existed for over 60 years. Independence. So, that's it borrowing money going up and down. Please, I leave you here till we meet again.